hello folks now the second part of uh, error propagation so if uh, i have a quantity like this so let us say z is equal to x into y z equal to x into y then i have i have z plus delta z plus minus delta z is equal to is equal to uh, x plus minus delta x into into y plus minus delta y so here what happens is now uh, here i have to divide this thing by this thing so if i do so do so z plus minus delta delta z z actually z by z is equal to x plus minus delta x and this y plus minus delta y divided 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 x y x y so this becomes uh, 1 plus delta z by z plus minus actually equal to let's multiply here x y plus minus y delta x plus minus uh, x delta y plus minus delta x delta y so here plus minus plus minus it becomes delta x delta y whole divided by divided by x y now what happens is since uh, delta x and delta y are very small quantities their product is even smaller so this thing is neglected and considered equal to zero so this will be this will be if i divide all those things it will be x y by x y plus y delta x by x y plus x delta y by x y so this cancel this y and y cancel x and x cancel so what remains with us is 1 plus delta x by x plus delta y by y so this gives us so this one and this one cancel so we have got a lot of plus minuses here plus minuses so this also becomes plus minus and plus minus so only one cancel so what remains us is delta z by z should be equal to equal to delta x by x plus minus delta y by y so one thing that we have to remember is here also we have got plus minus and here also we have got plus minus so this gives us delta z is equal to equal to delta x by x plus minus delta y by y into z and that's equal to delta x by x plus minus delta y by y and this z is equal to equal to x y so this gives you the total value of the absolute error so this is fractional error or we say relative error and this is the absolute error so this is for the product product type quantities now now if i go to some more quantities like this so let's let's try another one let's try another one another one another one another one like this like this like this <coughs> If we fold the papers properly <clears throat> now let's go for division let's go for division so 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 uh, here let, let me see uh, let me go for the number the number six now in number six I have got a quantity as a z equal to x by y then z plus delta z should be equal to plus minus x plus minus delta x divided uh, y plus minus delta y so i can write this thing as x common 1 plus minus delta x by x and then uh, y common 1 plus minus delta y by y so when i divide this thing by this thing i will have z plus minus delta z by z is equal to is equal to x 1 plus minus delta x by x by y 1 plus minus delta y by y whole divided x by y so this gives us 1 plus delta z by z plus minus equal to this x and this x goes and this y and this y goes so what remains us is with us is 1 plus minus delta x by x whole divided 1 plus minus delta y by y so this can be written as 1 plus minus delta x by x 
into 1 plus minus delta y by y power minus 1. And when the second term is expanded, it gives us, it gives us 1 plus minus delta x by x, it's okay. Now this minus 1 comes here, minus comes here, so it becomes 1 minus plus delta y by y. And we have got some higher terms which you can be, uh, can be neglected because they are squares and any quantity which are squares of the errors will be even smaller so we don't need to consider them and now this minus plus is again is again plus minus so when you multiply it I will have 1 plus minus delta x by x then it's turn it is plus minus delta y by y by y and then 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 plus minus delta x by x into delta y by y so here we have again products of errors so I can consider it as a negligible so 1 and 1 cancelled which gives us delta z by z is equal to delta x by x plus minus delta y by y so here what is happening is the fractional error during division is same as the fractional error during multiplication but when you go for the absolute error what you have is so delta z is equal to delta x by x plus minus delta y by y and then z here till here again same but if we put the value of z things become different so x plus minus delta y by y then it is x by y so this is in the case of division so uh, as we have done in case of multiplication say let us say we have power equal to iv in case of electricity so in such case uh, we have to find the uncertain power in that way and here if I say r equal to v by i then our uh, uncertainty is given in this manner.